Granite soup is one of Ghana's simple recipes that you can make at your comfort zone. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm about to teach you guys how to make the simplest granite soup recipe. Let's get started. All you need is your granite paste and some tin tomatoes, which is optional. But I prefer using the tin tomatoes in this particular recipe because it gives it a very nice color and it brings out the oil in the granite faster. So you are going to fry this granite paste with your tin tomatoes. And make sure you fry this very well because if you don't cook your granite well, it can give you a very bad tummy upset that you wouldn't want to have okay so you're just going to give it a good mix just like i'm doing make sure you fry it either on low heat or high heat either ways just make sure you're frying as well okay now i'm going to add in some water to this whilst you're frying just to combine all the ingredients well okay now once you're frying this there are some granite paste that you normally don't get the oil out of it early some as well you can get the oil out of it early but this particular granite paste i got the oil out of it quite early and it was really really nice for me okay so just keep stirring the granite paste just like i'm doing so the oil settles on top and once the oil settles you know your granite is ready After 10 to 15 minutes, your oil will start settling on top and you know your granite paste is well fried. So this is how you know your granite is ready, okay? So guys, if you make your granite soup this way, it is very simple and fast, okay? Now you're going to go ahead and start your soup. For our soup, you're going to add in your pepper mix to your meat of your choice, okay? I'm going to list the ingredients of the pepper mix in my description box. You can check it out. Now you're going to add in some seasoning and then give this a good mix and cook this on low heat and let the chicken produce its own juice guys if you do it this way your granite soup will taste extra nice okay the flavor will be incorporated very well now going to add in your extra ingredient that is your carrots your tomatoes your onion and some peppers guys granite soup does not require a lot of tomatoes like that okay so don't be scared or worried okay you're going to go ahead and add in your peppers and cook this till it's well steamed now you can remove these tomatoes and peppers and onions blend them all together and sieve it back into the soup now you can decide to cook these ingredients separately if you like but i prefer cooking it with the soup because it gives it the flavor i want for my soup okay so just do this now i get a lot of questions like abby why is my soup not always light when i make it why is my soup always thick when i make it why is my soup always incorporated with particles when i make it now here's the reason why anytime you blend your ingredients and you pour it directly into the soup without sieving it all the chaffs will go into the soup just like this guys so always make sure you sieve your soup ingredients or your blended ingredients when you're putting it back into the soup so that your soup develops the lightness that you want okay especially for those who don't want thick soup like me i always like my soup light okay and granite soup tends to become thick very soon so if you don't make it light from the beginning your soup is going to thicken up and you keep adding water in it to just reduce the nutrient factor in the soup okay so guys always sieve your ingredients when you're putting in the soup so that you get it this way guys now once it is ready like this you're going to go ahead and add in your fried granules that you fried and kept aside earlier okay just pour that into the soup and then add in some water to your satisfaction some people like their soup a little bit thicker than mine so you can just reduce the water if you want but if you want to light like mine you can add the same quantity that i added to my soup and guys once it gets to this stage just cover it and then your soup cook you know you can add in some pakboshito for garnishing it gives it extra flavor in the soup you know especially for the spicy soup lovers and guys let your soup cook well make sure you cook your granite soup well just like i did and your soup is ready guys now what do you normally pair your granite soup with i normally pair mine with omutsio sometimes fufu sometimes kukunte sometimes plain rice anything that's all you want to pair your granite soup with guys you can just pair yours with so i paired mine with omutsio guys i'm going to do a detailed recipe of how to make omutsio and other swallow meals and for you guys so just get ready okay so i added my soup to my omutsio and guys 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 let me say hey, anyway, you know, Sunday bia you really enjoy yourself guys i hope you enjoyed this recipe don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel because we are going to do so many videos together and i love you guys so much bye